Researchers in New York City are combining imaging with machine learning to improve early detection of melanoma. Imaging biomarkers are quantitative diagnostic features extracted using image processing. Each imaging biomarker begins as a perceived visual feature and ends as a derived mathematical function. Computer code applies the function to the image to extract the numerical value that specifies the intensity of the malignant feature. As an example visualization of a melanoma imaging biomarker, consider these images of a nevus and a melanoma. Superimposing a clock face on the lesion, we can see that there is a greater variation in angular brightness for the melanoma than there is for the nevus. As an example, consider the clock arm at 8.30 versus 11.30. In the melanoma, the 8.30 clock arm occupies dark pixels, where the 11.30 clock arm occupies bright pixels. Whereas in the nevus, these two clock arms sample pixels of moderate brightness. At each angle of the clock arm, we sample the pixels, and those pixels become a vertical line in polar coordinates where the bottom line on the graph is always the central pixel and the top line is the pixel that marches around the periphery of the Cartesian image. We can see that the angular variation in brightness is greater for the melanoma than it is for the nevus. Hence that range of angular brightness variation becomes the imaging biomarker B12. One strength of melanoma imaging biomarkers is their ability to rapidly perform massive calculations, such as those required to evaluate thousands of branches in the pigment network. Another strength of melanoma imaging biomarkers is their ability to isolate single color channels from the red, green, blue color image. As an example, consider imaging biomarker B7. B7 pertains to the smoothness of transition from dark inside the lesion to bright outside the lesion. As shown here, the imaging biomarker values evaluated in their normalized form exhibit a maximal differential between melanoma and nevus when evaluated in the blue channel. The differential between melanoma and nevus when evaluated in the red channel is smaller. Hence, the blue color channel is the preferred color channel to evaluate the imaging biomarker B7. The statistical significance of the entire group of imaging biomarkers is plotted here by the length of the horizontal bar. Imaging biomarkers evaluated in single color channels are plotted with three bars, red, green, and blue, which show that imaging biomarkers naturally segregated into groups that were either statistically significant in the red channel or statistically significant in the blue channel, but with mutual exclusivity. Imaging biomarkers that were statistically significant in the blue channel were not so significant in the red channel and vice versa. Melanoma imaging biomarkers in combination with the histopathological diagnosis, were used in machine learning to produce the probability of melanoma. The mean probability of melanoma across the 13 machine learning approaches was the Q-score. During machine learning, artificial intelligence algorithms learn how to distinguish melanoma from nevus based on the imaging biomarkers associated with each. In the training phase, the imaging biomarker training set is used to teach each algorithm its own way to build the association between the imaging biomarker values and the histopathological diagnosis. In the test phase, like a school exam, learning is tested on lesions that were not used during the training phase. The algorithms each report the probability of melanoma for all test set lesions. During ensemble classification, the wisdom of the crowds principle is used. The 13 probabilities 
are averaged to generate a unique and robust probability of melanoma, the melanoma Q-score. The Q-score as a diagnostic was evaluated with the standard receiver operator characteristic curve shown in thick black line. At a clinically relevant 98% sensitivity, the Q-score achieved 36% specificity, which is a marked improvement over standard of care and competing technologies. If validated in larger studies, the Q-score could produce a standardized diagnostic technology that could be used to improve screening and increase the number of life-saving early detection events. The researchers hope to further investigate the spectral dependence of melanoma imaging biomarkers in future studies.